Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we got a beer from Rogue Brewing Company and it is a bottle of the Rogue Voodoo Donut Bacon Maple Ale, ale brew with natural flavours. There's the nice pink bottle. There's the description and it's been brewed with applewood smoked bacon, pure maple flavourings. And we'll, we'll get into it all in a minute, but it's a smoked beer from Rogue. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. It's a big 22 ounce American pint bottle. And it's the return of the pint wine glass. I'll give you all the reasons for why I'm using this glass in a moment. But if you've been following my channel for the last four years, you might already know why. Right, two finger, slightly off white, tan coloured head with loads of, it's quite big carbonation. The bubbles are quite big. They're not small and confined and tightly knit. It's a clear beer. There's, there's, not much of a haze there at all which is good and it's a deep red mahogany colour. I'm going to get my nose into this beer then. Oh wow, wow 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 it's really smoked. You get that beech wood, I've worked with beech in the past, I'm a carpenter by trade so I get that beech wood smoked aroma, it smells fantastic and you do get the aroma of, um, of applewood bacon. It smells meaty, really really meaty in a in a very natural way. It's quite smells quite sweet as well, I've got to dive into this one, it's quite interesting. It's 5.6% ABV from what the information I got given online. Wow. Oh wow, that is quite fascinating. That really is. The, the green oak chips, the beetroot oak chips, really do give an impression of a, a ranch beer. But, and this is a but, it's ranch beer, but then it goes a little bit further on and it's meaty. And I think it's quite clever, it's really quite clever. To the point where it tastes like bacon. It tastes like bacon, it's like um, smoked barbecue kind of rib crisps. Um, can you remember if you're in the UK, they were an American company, Royster's, Royster's Crisps, gives you that impression. I'm really enjoying this, I reviewed the other, the Rogue Voodoo Donut with the banana, the chocolate uh, and there was something else in there as well. I can't quite remember off the top of my head but that was um, that was way too crazy for me, way too crazy. This on the other hand, I understand this, I understand it and I like it because I think if you went out and bought this beer as a newbie, you, you, you're getting into your, your, your beers, your craft beers, and you've gone into an American store, you've gone in a store in the UK, and you've gone, oh, look at this, big pink bottle. I'm getting into craft beers, I'm going to buy this. It will put you off for life. Leave it alone. Honestly. But, if you've tasted a few ranch beers, 
the smoked beers or maybe um, a couple of the Macalla smoked beers which are not as insane as this then you will understand it it's a step up because it's real bacon but you'll, you will understand the complexity and you will understand the way this beer has been put together and the bacon works it really does okay so let's tap it let's kind of say what we think then the sec the, the second one yeah the, the chocolate the vanilla and the banana didn't like it didn't like that at all this however this is the original one the voodoo donut I like that I really like that and I'm glad I got it now let me talk to you about this glass this glass if you go back to the start of my reviewing career over four years ago on YouTube you will see me using this glass and it was at the time a bit of a novelty um, it was it was something different it was something quirky I used it for a long time you might remember it it's the return of the pint wine glass <laughs> pardon me the reason why I got it out for this review I thought it was going to be another kind of funny ha ha kind of gimmicky review I didn't actually think I would like it but I do so I thought gimmicky beer gimmicky glass let's get it on for this gimmicky re review but I'm having to take it all back and I'm having to stand here and say actually I like it I like this beer a lot it has got a slightly synthetic taste right at the beginning it's almost like that kind of chocolate in there it, it, it's it's slightly off-putting but other than that love the beechwood smoked let's give you a quick list of what's on in this beer 13 ingredients Bryce cherrywood smoked malt Wyoming and beechwood smoked malt house smoked hickory and you do get the hickory as well uh, malt great western 2 row munich uh, c15 c75 malt applewood smoked bacon pure maple, maple bait flavorings i will get there rogue micro hop yard revolution and independent hops rogue plant and grow their own hops which is a great thing free range coastal water and pac-man yeast no chemicals no preservatives and no additives okay a rating then from this oregon based beer love the hickory wood love that green kind of fresh smoked oak chips the applewood applewood bacon love it all love it all it's malty it's a little bit sweet it's a little bit bitter it just works for me and i like the beer in the glass it looks good i like that so put your comments in the comments box i'm about to rate it i'm going to give this i'm going to give that an eight out of ten i like it quirky i like it didn't like the last one I like this one eight out of ten um put your comments in the comments box let me know should the pint wine glass return for future reviews um subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers